Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back to yet another Uta Macross tutorial video for today. Yes, there's a lot of stuff to uh, unpack ever since they started the first event for the fourth anniversary of Uta Macross, which also features the first ever five unit live performance for Valkyrie. So we're gonna dive into the song page. Um, I've already lowered the volume of the game audio because I don't want to get copyright strike for unwanted claims. So let's dive into the deck setup which is what we're here to break down. As usual, the assist page is the same so you want to select your friend's um, featured 7 star episode plate Kaname uh, episode plate and of course the first thing you will notice is yes the deck setup is new as shown off in the Uta Macross SP back in July uh, we've talked about it in the video if you have not watched it make sure you go check out what other things has um, been planned for the month of August um, but here we are to talk about how you can navigate through all this brand new layouts that you might not be um, so familiarized with because you can't read Japanese. So as usual, the buttons are pretty much the same, just that they are located in other places. So if we take a look at the top row here first, we're going to talk about these four buttons at the top. So the blue button, which is the first one here on the left, basically just gives you the auto setup selection. So if you want to set up your diva according to luck plates because you're trying to gain tickets for the ticketing event, you can do so and they will auto arrange all the episode plates on your divas in your team to luck based episode plates. Alright, then of course, you know, if you want to sort them accordingly to score, life, combo, you can do so. We've done that in another tutorial video. The second button, the blue one, is basically your units deck setup being saved in list. So as you can tell, normally we've already been uh, given um, the default of 10 sets. But ever since the update, we've got 15 sets in total. So you can scroll through them with this um, top right blue button right here. And of course, um, you can select whichever list that you've saved. So I've got my sets here saved up for ticketing events. Then of course, I've got some that are saved for high score achievements and all that kind of stuff. So that's basically what um, the second blue button at the top does. So of course, um, if, you want, if you want to save over the list, you can do so. You just have to tap this pink button here, which is what you try not to tap accidentally, because if not, you erase a set list that you've already saved, you work hard to setting up. If you want to pull out a set list, you want to tap this button. Okay, so you will pull out the set list that you have saved and of course you will get the usual notification. So alright, the last blue button here um, with the on and off basically is the performance tab. So it reads uh, Super Dimension Prism on or off, you can, you can check the box. So you can set the game to automatically use the 5 divas. Um, you've listed here for the performance in the background instead of the ones that you have um, using for play uh, with the episode play setups. So that's the old thing, just that they have shifted the button to the top right hand corner. So yes, um, of course you can change the costumes you know, of the divas if you want, depending on how many sets you want to uh, you know, record the performance in uh, if you're the kind of person who likes to edit uh, Uta Macross performances, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, alright, moving along. This button, I don't have to say. Um, if you hold on to it, of course you get to see the details of the Valkyrie. If you want to change the Valkyrie, just do a single tap on it. And of course you get to the Valkyrie page. And of course you get to change whichever Valkyrie according to whichever song series of course um, of the effects that the Valkyrie boost for you as well. The mega, uh, mega uh, what do you call it? Magnifying glass! <laughs> I lost 
the word for a moment. So if you tap this, you get to see the usual episode plate bonus page. Um, if you want to see what uh, bonus you're missing, you can equip the following episode plates as usual um, on your divas. But of course, depending on whether you have extra slots to slot in the uh, bonus percentage episode plates. As you can tell, the full sets I have here usually give um, the item notes, which is what you need for scoring in the uh, ticketing event. So, don't really have a lot of slots <laughs> ever since they tossed in more episode plates with um, bonus points like these. So, yeah. Okay, moving along. So, we have this button, so you get to see the entire total listing of stats on your setup. So, as you can tell, I have 100 points on the item notes, which is fantastic. Um, then, of course, your entire total score from your episode plate setups. Uh, if you want to really get very good high scores, you should definitely be looking at all these stats. Um, but the ticketing event isn't exactly about high score. Um, there is a high score... Um, rewards section but you know you don't really have to try for high score so early in the event itself the second white button basically um, just summarizes the information that you see here at the bottom so as you can tell my divas information is currently set up uh, according to their proficiency for the song so if you want to see, um, Min Mei is currently maxed out. So if you don't want to use Min Mei anymore, you can just switch her out um, because she won't be getting any more uh, proficiency points for this particular song because she's already maxed out. So it's better to train other divas um, for their stats improvements. You know, all right. So level total don't really is pretty straightforward. Then of course the plate setup you get to see their total. And on the points here, all the numbers, and of course you get to see whether they have soul points, voice, charm, life, support, fold, if you are concerned regarding the activation of Cho Utahime, uh, Cho Utahime mode, luck, level, skill, episode. So that's pretty much all the information that you, should, that you need to know. On the deck, so I don't really have to explain the pencil icon, do I? It's just to rename the the unit setup that you have, um, and then of course you get to go to the the listing and then save it under that name. So, yeah, guys, that's almost all the information. I almost forgot about this. Remember in the SP broadcast video, I was wondering what in the world this is about. So basically, if you didn't have this on. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't have this on, okay, and you want to hit play, they won't let you go to play because you are missing two divas in your current setup um, for the live performance. So I'm gonna select Ranka here, and I'm gonna select somebody else here. Okay, so only then are you able to send your team out for play. But of course, if you have the prism on, um, it will immediately use the five divas that you've set up here for the performance and you won't have to bother adding the other two um, divas into the lineup. So yeah, so if you want to see all the episode plate setups, you just have to tap this button here and you get to see everything that is more detailed for your diva setup right there. So guys, that's it for the deck setup for the 4th anniversary of Uta Macross, we're going to the 4th year and they've decided to make the setup a bit more neat. Well, it might get confusing at first, but I think it's a very stylish deck setup. Uh, it has a lot more information than the previous one, than you normally get. As you can tell um, from all this, the skills on the episode plates are not highlighted because they are not equipped for the diva. As you can tell, this episode plate is not meant for Basara to use. That's why the skill icon is not activated at all. Um, so yeah. So if you really want to see a, a proper... I guess... Um, let me just set up a team that I use for high score achievements. You can see all the skill 
icons have been lit up because all the episode plates are equipped to the divas that can activate the center skill, life skill. So that's how you read the entire deck setup for the current 4th year of Utah Macross. Guys, let me know your thoughts on the new deck in the description down, not description, comment section down below. Guys, I'm tired. I just recovered from illnesses and I my brain is still not functioning at 100%. Both videos have been very, very agonizing to record. So I really appreciate it, guys. As usual, leave a like, share, subscribe, and of course, follow me on, on the social media platforms that I'm on. I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, and I'm on Instagram. Make sure you follow me there. Links are on the description down below. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video sometime soon. Bye!